Now let's start thinking about equations. What makes an equation proportional or not proportional? A proportional equation looks like this, y equals kx. And the exponent on the x needs to be a 1. If the exponent were 0, you would have to write it in. But if the exponent is 1, you don't actually have to write it. It's understood that if you don't write the exponent, that the exponent is a 1. So this brings us to what makes an equation not proportional. So an equation is not proportional if the exponent is not 1. For example, let's say that the exponent was 3. If the exponent was 3, it's not proportional. An equation is also not proportional if a constant is added or subtracted. Let me give an example. Let's say that y equals 2x minus 11. Because of this subtraction of 11, this constant term, the negative 11 is the constant part, then it's not proportional. And then an equation is not proportional if x is in the denominator. So let me give you another example. Let's say that you had y equals 12 over x. If x is in the denominator, then that also is an example of a non-proportional equation. So we need to start being able to just look at an equation and say, yes, it's proportional, no, it's not. As we're starting to understand which ones are proportional and which ones are not proportional, we're going to use Desmos, which is a graphing calculator, to help us to understand a pattern with which ones are proportional and which are not. All right, so the question is, which of the following relationships are proportional? We're starting with the y equals 5x. And we're just going to type it into Desmos, y equals 5x. And you can see that on Desmos, it's this this y equals 5x was graphed, it's a straight line that goes through 0, 0, so that's proportional. So I'm just going to put a check by this one. That one's proportional. All right, second example, y equals negative 3x plus 2. Well, let's graph it. y equals negative 3x. I'm going to stop there for a second. If it was just y equals negative 3x, look, it would be proportional because it would be a straight line that goes through 0, 0. But look what happens when I add the 2. All right, so plus two, and it, the line shifted from down here, where it went through zero, zero, up to go through zero, two instead. So if you have a constant added, it's not proportional. So I'm just gonna put an x, it's not proportional. All right, y equals x squared, let's graph this one next. y equals x, and then square it. And y equals x squared, look, it's a quadratic, so it's curved. It does go through 0, 0, but since it's curved, it's not a proportional equation. So this is not a proportional equation. Let's look at three more examples. y equals negative 4x minus 10. Now my guess is that this minus 10 is a problem, so let's graph it. y equals negative 4x. If you just graph that, it will be fine. But as soon as we subtract the 10, it moves down 10, and now it's going through 0, negative 10 instead of 0, 0. So this is not proportional because now, even though it's a straight line, it doesn't go through 0, 0. So this is not proportional, so I'm going to put an x beside it. y equals 2x, that looks simple. It looks like y equals kx. I think this one's going to be proportional. So let's graph it, y equals 2x, and it is proportional. It goes through 0, 0, and it is a straight line. So I'm going to put a check. Yes, that's proportional. Now y equals 7 over x, hmm, do you remember? Are we allowed to have x in the denominator? Let's go ahead and graph this. y equals 7 divided by x, and it is not pro proportional. Take a look. This is called inverse variation and it's curved and it doesn't go through zero zero so this is not proportional so it's going to take a while for you to be able to just look at the equation and recognize whether it's proportional or not but i hope this gives you a good start 
if it's simple like this, and it looks like the form y equals kx, it's proportional. If it has a constant added or subtracted, if x is in the denominator, or x has a power other than 1, then it's not proportional.